I have no issues. Even if he wants to drink with his friends all night, problem is he's such a nuisance about it. Hey, what nuisance? Come on, ah, I cannot ask my friend to come over. There may come a point in time in a conflict when it looks impossible to communicate with the other person, much less agree on anything. In such a scenario, it may be useful to involve a trained third party to help with the discussion. Mediation is a private and confidential process where a trained mediator like myself facilitates a discussion between parties who are in a dispute to reach mutually acceptable solutions. The CMC comes into the picture when a person who requires the assistance of a trained third party applies to the CMC for mediation. The CMC provides mediation for five categories of relational disputes, namely disputes between neighbours, family members, friends, co-workers, landlords and tenants, or between co-tenants. Every time, you know, I hear the noise and it drags on until very late in the night. I have to work the next morning. What do you expect me to do if you're a light sleeper? Just shut the door and close the window la. Very difficult la. Neighbour dispute is the most common type of dispute handled by the CMC. The chief source of complaint for a neighbour dispute is noise nuisance. Noise-related cases involve the dragging of furniture, the sounds of stomping, or running footsteps, loud music, among other issues. The CMC also provides mediation for family members to settle their conflicts privately. One of the more common types of family conflict that we see at the CMC is involving the care and financial upkeep of elderly parents. He doesn't take any responsibility for mom. I've been taking care of her for two years straight paying all her medical bills. You can apply for CMC mediation by calling the Mean Law Enquiry Line at 1-800-2255-529 during office hours or by applying online at the CMC's website using your SingPass. During mediation, the mediator will listen as each party takes turns to explain the issues in conflict. Through joint or private sessions, the mediator will help to define the issues in conflict clarify the party's positions and interests and guide them towards coming up with their own solutions. The CMC provides both face-to-face -face and virtual mediation using the Zoom platform. The face-to-face -face mediation is conducted at the Mean Law Services Centre located at the URA Centre East Wing. This type of mediation is generally useful for all types of cases. However, it is most beneficial for cases with complex disputes or for cases where there are multiple parties involved. Zoom mediation has made mediation a lot more accessible to residents in Singapore. The mediation process is the same, regardless of whether it is a face-to-face -face mediation or a virtual mediation. John is not willing to take like more responsibility. Don't want to take responsibility. Yeah. I. Mr. John, Mr. John, we can let one party speak first, no interruption, and the other party will have the opportunity to speak. Mediation works better if parties come in with an open mind, are willing to understand the other party's situation and work together to reach jointly acceptable solutions. Sometimes, parties may not be willing to compromise because the underlying reasons behind the dispute are deep-seated and acrimonious. Sometimes, it is about not losing face. The mediator is a neutral third party whose role is to facilitate a discussion between two disputing parties and help them to come to a resolution. Unlike in a court proceeding, the mediator is not a judge. It is not our role as mediators to evaluate evidence or decide for the parties. Quite often, people misunderstand the role of the mediator as a counsellor. This is not accurate as well. Whilst we may help parties to navigate their emotions during mediation, our primary role is to look at the issues in dispute and help the parties find mutually acceptable solutions. There are four reasons for mediation. Firstly, mediation is a private and confidential process. The identities of the parties and the matters discussed during the mediation is kept private and confidential. Secondly, it is a solution-oriented process where the mediators assist parties to come up with their own solutions to address their issues. Parties have the flexibility to come up with out-of-the-box solutions that suits them. Thirdly, mediation at the CMC saves time 
costs and trouble. A typical CMC mediation session lasts at most between two to three hours. The person requesting for mediation only needs to pay a one-time administrative fee of just $5. The CMC also offers parties a complimentary remediation at no charge should problems arise within three months from the last mediation. And most importantly, mediation helps to preserve the relationship between the parties. It gives them the opportunity to mend their relationship privately without unwanted publicity or any embarrassment. More than 80% of the cases mediated at the CMC have been successfully settled. Parties will often feel and express relief at the end of a settled mediation. I think what I can do now, um, I will ask my friends to come lesser to my place. And if we do, we will cut down the sessions, we we'll end it earlier. I think we are making good progress here because there's some alignment about the splitting of expenses. In some cases, there is closure to a long-standing dispute and emotional healing can begin between two parties.